Okay, so you asked me the first question, which was, would it be considered to be an international crime or an international infraction, violation of international law, if a nation state is preventing others from self-determining? Is that correct? Yes. There is a UN resolution that's titled Responsibility of States for Internationally Wrongful Act. And I'm thinking, well, I mean, if self-determination is an established principle or even a customary norm, would you call it a customary norm? I laid it out for you right in the Law of Nations, right? Yeah, Article 220, right? Book 1? Well, I laid out the entire process. It goes from being a citizen to not being happy with the society you're born in because you've reached the age of discretion and you determine it's not advantageous for you. But it started with the principles of how everybody gets into their contractual situation, whether it's citizenship, running a state, or being the head, or being a part of the Senate, or whatever it is. It goes into how everyone gets into their position and what they do about it once they reach the age of discretion and they don't find it advantageous. There are kings who didn't find it advantageous in England to remain the king or even to remain part of the bloodline. Why? Because they were poisoning them and killing them off about every two or three years. So there comes a point in time where it's like, hey, we're out of here. The Roman Empire itself, like the movie Gladiator after the time of Commodus, that whole empire went into disarray and chaos. Nobody wanted the throne to rule over that mob and mass of anarchy. And there was a precursor to the movie Gladiator that actually showed that where it was a different movie about the Roman Empire, showed the whole thing what happened with Commodus. Commodus dies, and they're trying to give the kingdom over to this guy for him to be Caesar, and he just walks away. <laughs> I'm not being a part of this. Take on the responsibility of fixing you people and your mob mentality? Forget it. The only reason you went along with what Commodus did was because he gave you war, just like in the movie Gladiator. What did he say? He will bring them death, and they will love him for it. So self-determination, it's an international crime to prevent someone from doing it unless they don't know what they're doing and they're creating problems and they're not doing it under peaceful settlement. Secession is not peaceful. There's no need to secede because self-determination is a principle unto itself. There's no need to cause upheaval. There's no need to cause wars or any violence or anything with this. It hasn't been for me. Does that mean the U.S. is honoring it more so than other countries? It's probably the reason I came back here from St. Kitts unbeknownst to me at the time. There's the nation state of Sealand, which is just an old Derek that the guy claimed as sovereign territory and was recognized by Germany and by the United Kingdom. The Travel Channel did a 20-minute documentary on it. You're in Australia. Look at what's happened down there. You Hutt River Province Principality, the Snake River Province. There's several different self-determination movements going on in Australia. So as long as somebody's not causing a problem and exercising peaceful settlement with self-determination to prohibit them from doing that is an international offense.